Hi, I'm Eric. This is Derek with Narrow Road Van Conversions. We're here with Chris Nolt, and we're going to do a walkthrough of his Mercedes 144 4x4 log cabin on wheels photography studio. Why don't you come on in and have a look around? Stepping inside, the first thing that we can see is a flip down table uh, going out the passenger door. That'll be a nice little area there for uh, cooking outside, barbecuing. Uh, heading inside, we can see Chris is getting himself acclimated in here. Chris is a wildlife photographer and a landscape photographer, also a financial planner, so he'll be using this as his office. Chris, tell us a little bit about how you plan on using this van. Yeah, well, I really wanted the ability to work on the road and uh, just travel wherever I want to and, and uh, yeah, just be able to take photographs and service my clients. And so I've got two workstations. I have one behind the, the drivers and it uh, works great. And then we also have this workstation here and it's also, uh, you can either use it as an extension of the uh, counter space. So you've got tons of counter space here or if you want to use it as a workstation you can just lower it down and there's a, a large workstation and then i've got uh, my scanner up here because i need to scan documents a lot so i can just scan my documents to my computer and uh yeah it's my office slash cabin on wheels yeah so the other thing we notice right away is all the woodwork yes um, one of the things that um we kind of came up with that Chris enjoyed was the the handles on yeah. the cabinetry. Yeah, Derek uh, hand, hand carved these door handles here, which are really, I think, add a real nice touch to it. And so there's plenty of storage up here for my dishes and cookware. Uh, I've got a large sink here, cutting board. Really like the sink operation that Eric suggested and the water filter. And then one thing that's kind of unique is I, as a photographer, I wanted some easy access to my camera gear. And so, so Derek built this shelf here. And so I, he built a really nice compartment for me to store my camera. And I've got my lenses and I can store other things. And I also have a charging station there. So another nice feature of this camera compartment is that it locks. So they built a, a nice locking system in so I can lock that to have some security uh, if someone were to break in. So down below the camera area, uh, Chris thought it'd be a great idea to have a pass through into the garage area, the ability to access gear and possibly if you had a, a second or third person sleeping, they could lay down on a air mattress or a mattress down there. That tray could get pulled out and put away. And there's enough room uh, for someone to stretch out down there for uh, an extra visitor. So Chris doesn't plan on using the shower uh, all that much in here. He's got other plans for showering. So he thought a good dual use would be to put some trays inside the shower for some extra storage. So these are removable they pop out like so Ex exposing and the second a, one yeah just slides right up through and out and so those sit on those uh, brackets which are made out of PVC the same as the shower is so nothing can um, absorb water uh, he's got an airhead toilet in here in a shower with hot and cold water. A shower light in there. We've got a Nautilus retractable shower door in there also. Up ahead of that, we talked about the printer and scanner. Below that, we've got an isotherm refrigerator. 
Below the isotherm, we've got a couple of drawers down here. Nice, big, huge drawers for plenty of storage. Up ahead, we've got that work area. We've got a little spot for some hanging clothes behind the driver's seat. We've got a Vancellary head shelf up here. Up here, he is storing his window shades made by Van Essentials. We've got a Dometic ceiling vent fan in here. Over here in the electrical system, we've got a, our normal battery monitor, the remote for the roof vent, the control buttons for the inverter, the shower, and the sink gray water, the heater controls, thermostat, a DC outlet, and an AC outlet. Over here, looking at the bed, all made up. What's neat about this is in the Sprinter 144, we actually can recess these panels in here to get five foot 11 sleeping area, which is um, about as wide as you can get out of a Mercedes Sprinter. So I know a lot of people put bump outs or flares. We didn't need that because Chris is shorter than 5'11". A couple of awning windows here, the head and the foot of the bed, a couple of Scirocco fans, which we've put in some other builds. Also these reading lights, which you've seen in other builds. These are nice. Another reading light here, a switch for the water heater, electric water heater, which is also a engine heat water heater outlet there. We talked about these cabinet handles here, uh, custom made and flip ups. Moving around the outside, we've got a hidden power input on this one, which is kind of neat. So uh, we normally have one uh, where we cut a hole in the van. This one we didn't have to cut a hole. Uh, you would kind of access that from below. Rotating around the back, you can see the garage area. Uh, in here, all the wood matches. It's really a nice uh, log cabin look to this build. Um, the big thing that you can see in this shot is that gorgeous skylight and we're gonna have Chris go up there and show us that while he's climbing up there let's look in the back here we've got a wee boost you can see a little vent there for the inverter a couple of outlets there fuse box here's the pass through that we already talked about we got a flip down here for the plumbing compartment here's our instructions on how to use the plumbing some storage above the water tank, a little water level indicator here, a hot water heater, our valves, water pump. We've got our bed that flips up that we do in most all of our builds. Flips up to sit forward, flips up to face out back. So Chris is the one who turned me on to this skylight. Um, this is another marine hatch that we're trying out and I really like this one. It turns out to be the biggest one we've put in and it's really a sturdy unit. So it's real, you just open that and then I can. So he's got a great spot on top of this van to set up his tripod for his landscape and wildlife photography. Up on top, you can see we've got three 100 watt solar panels and he's got just enough space up there on this aluminous roof rack uh, for a little stool and a tripod to shoot beautiful wildlife from a great vantage point. You can also see he's got the WeBoost uh, external antenna up there with a flip down bracket. So Chris, where could people go to see your photography? Yeah, I have a website which is noltphotography.com. That's my last name, N-O-L-T photography.com. So thanks a lot for coming along on this walkthrough. If you'd like more information on how to have a custom built van exactly to your specifications, click on my email below and I'd be glad to get out a custom quote to you. 
for Eric and Chris for Narrow Road Van Conversions. Thanks, and we'll see you on the road.